Hello, this is Mark C. Maravillas and for this fifth how-to video, I will teach you on how to calculate student's T statistics uh, with paired T-test, no? T statistics in paired T-test. As you can see, this is in connection with not to the second, not to our first uh, how-to video wherein we need to discuss now, or I will to discuss now on how to use these are uh, pair t-test in this part here as i have mentioned last time that this type of test is used if we only have one group of uh, uh, people being tested twice this one like pre-test and versus post-test and before and after we already discussed part of the unpaired t-test here for the unequal and the equal, equal variance in this uh, in a previous um, how to videos but as of the time being we will be i will teach you on how to discuss this one sayon ronish ayo and this very yes this is very simple and um let us start now okay so for the t statistics or for pair samples let us have or let me set to you this uh what's this this uh, sample uh data so we have here a pretest, a group of pretest scores here with 14 subgroups and uh, yes, yeah, subgroups, and we have also 14 for the posters. And uh, unpaired t test, dili yun na pwede nga dili ni magbalansi silang duhaw. 14 kabuo ng pretest, ito lang siya na posters. Pumantayan na to, nga, I have mentioned last time that these two bar value, for example, in case number 1, 23, and 35, these two has a meaning. But pasabot na kining trabaho, ah, kining a score, adun na ni siya yung connection, ano yung score, yun sa man. Kani siya, isa rin yung katawo, una nga test niya sa pretest, Right, mo na yung score 23 sa ikaduhan niya nga test para sa post-test, nakakuha siya o 30 and 5. So, para sa gaya po na sa 14 kabok na siya bata. So, isa ka 14 ka bata, kaduha yung test ang 14 ka bata. So, this is how we do it. Um, as you can see, here is now the formula of the T uh, paired no? samples. Uh, T statistics for paired samples. So we have here our formula t is equal to the summation of the difference over the square root of n, and uh, the, the difference of the the, uh, the summation of the of the of the square of the difference minus the summation of the squared over n minus one. So in order for us to uh, be, uh, in order for us to use this formula, there is a need for us to find d or the difference and uh, square of the difference that is why there is a need for us to continue our table with the d and the d uh, the, 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 the difference and the square of the difference so yun sa muna siya karoon pagkuha ng dire o yun sa muna siya pagkuha ng karoon dire nga part so let me just show you some of it kay aron dire lang po na kuning hot dun kayo kay aron dire kita malangan yun sa muna siya pagkuha dire is you just subtract 23 minus 35, 23 minus 35, that is equal to negative 12. And let us have the square of negative 12, that is why we have 144. And you do the same thing here for 25 minus 40, but on the 25 minus 40, then you have to square the difference so we can get it with, so you can have 225. And after makuha na nimo tanan, we will have or we will get the summation of the D and that is, you just add all of this so we can get negative 115 for the D squared, we can get 1513 and as you can see, those are the things that are required here kanin D, the difference and the square of the difference. So here are the things that, uh, uh, here are the steps on how to uh, do the uh, this one this uh, paired t-test so we have to write first the hypothesis this is true to everybody whether it is paired or unpaired there is a need for us to first write our hypothesis and we cannot write our hypothesis if we will not understand our the problem being set and after the, uh, writing the hypothesis we have to test the hypothesis at alpha at alpha 0 0.05 no and forward and we also have our degree of freedom this is how we get our uh, this is the formula in getting our degree of freedom n minus and one and minus one so shall we start now okay so by because we ha already have our summation of d 
uh, the summation of d squared we are now ready to use our formula with uh, our, our formula so take note that our d is equal to negative 115 and for our d squared we have 1513 so we will uh, plug in our formula here so uh, we are we have to, uh, we will plug in our data here so we have now the summation of d that is equal to 115 right and we have here the n our n is 14 because we have 14 here this one is our n the number of cases that is why we have 14 here and multiply it with the summation of d squared which is 1513 minus the uh, negative 115 that is the summation of d and we have still to square it over 13 why why, did, why we have 13 here we just have to subtract 14 that is n minus 1 that is, that's why we have 13 so next is we will have to copy 100 uh, negative 115 over the square root of 21 uh, you multiply 14 times 1513 we have 21 182 subtracted with by the the square of negative 115 which is 13 uh, 1225 over 13 you just copy 13 here and next is you just copy 115 i negative 115 over the square root of 6000 i uh, 612.08 that is when we will subtract it with this subtract uh, 200 21000 Mm -hmm. so we will uh, reconcile this one first okay this is 21,182 minus 13.225 we get 21 this 21, 21,168 21, divided by 13 so we can get 21,182 minus 13,225 we can get 7,151 divided by 13 so we have 612.0 and 77 and if you round it we can round it to 612.08 so now this, we will get the square root of the square root of 612.08 that it will give us 24.74 that's why we have 24.74 here so let us divide negative negative 115 divided by 24.74 it will give us negative 4 six four eight rounded to four negative four point six five so this is now our t computed value the t computed value is uh, negative four point six five that is also the reason and why is it that we have here this one no? our t stat is negative four point six six five but we cannot still still we cannot uh, uh, interpret if we only have t stat so we will have we have to find the t critical value at alpha 0 0.05 and our degree of freedom of 13 we get 13 because n minus 1 our n is 14 minus 1 that is 13 and we will look it uh, we will look at the 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 value of alpha 0 0.05 degree of freedom in our t distribution table um, two tail test 0 0.05 and our degree of freedom is 13 so we have 13 here and it is 2.160 uh, 2 that's why we have here 2.160 so meaning to say that since this is an absolute value negative 4.65 so this is again we can still consider this one as positive 4.65 so you, ju you just have to compare 4.65 and 2.160 and uh, and this uh, t stat is larger than the t critical value so our decision is you have to reject the null hypothesis because there is a significant difference between the pre-test and the post-test scores of these students or the learners i will post the interpretation of this in the video i hope you find this uh, uh, in the um, in the comment box
uh, or any part of the video i will post uh, i will post it at the upper portion i don't know what is the name of that place there but i will just have to provide you the interpretation of this uh, if there is a place for me to be able to uh, post the interpretation as of the meantime i hope you will find this video useful thank you